The Innocent Troublemaker Once upon a time, there was a tribe called Banu Hudayl during the time of Prophet Muhammad and they were extremely bad. They would always steal from the people and do all kinds of bad things. That made a lot of problems in the community in Mecca. One of the people of that tribe was Nu'aim ibn Mas'ud. He used to be very bad and always played evil tricks even with the people of his own tribe. And he was a troublemaker wherever he went. One time, he heard about the new prophet and the religion of peace. He was interested and just wanted to hear what the prophet had to say. But after he heard the real message of Islam and how it brings peace, justice, and kindness to the world, he wanted to learn even more about Islam. He knew that his tribe hated the Muslims and he was scared what his tribe would do if they found out that he was interested. But he decided to put all of his faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and secretly became Muslim. Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu started practicing Islam in his personal life as much as he could. And because Islam taught him all sorts of good things, all of the sudden his behavior started to change and he became an honest and kind person who was always helpful to others. One day, someone from Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala an whose tribe was caught stealing. And for some reason, the tribe lied and said that Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the one who stole. They knew that Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to be very bad and thought that he really was the one who did the bad job. Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu knew that he was innocent. He actually caught the thief and tried to stop him. But at that moment, Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu stayed quiet and did not say anything. He wanted to use this opportunity to show his tribe the true teachings of Islam. And in Islam, some of the most important things are honesty and justice. They brought this entire case to the leader of the tribe. And everyone blamed Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu of stealing. Everyone was mad at him and wanted to give him a heavy punishment. But just when they were about to punish Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to that place. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam carefully listened to why everyone thought that Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the thief and then asked him if he truly stole anything. At that moment, Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu started to cry. He explained the truth to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He told him that he did not steal anything and he actually caught the thief and tried to stop him. After he explained in front of everyone, he finally told everyone that he was a Muslim and kept this a secret because he was scared of what his tribe would do to him if they found out. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was impressed by Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu's honesty and courage. He talked to the tribe and explained the importance of justice and fairness in Islam. He also explained that it was not right to randomly blame someone without having any proof and that Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala an whose past mistakes should not be used to blame him. The entire tribe 
was surprised by Muhammad sallallahu words and realized their mistake. They realized that Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu was truly innocent and was surprised how much Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu changed and became an extremely good person because of the teachings of Islam. So, from that day on, Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu openly practiced and spread Islam to his tribe. He became extremely loyal to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and always spread the message of Islam wherever he went. This story of Nu'aym radiallahu ta'ala anhu teaches us many important lessons. It shows us how much we can change for the better with the power of our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and completely change our character. It also teaches us the importance of being honest to have justice and courage in Islam. This was the end of our story for today. Make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel so you and many more people can get Islamic reminders so that we can become better Muslims and please our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.